that Suzette? Hey! Kia ora! What's going on? I thought Waitangi Day was cancelled. No, it's not cancelled. It's just been postponed. We're trying to find another venue where we can have it. Oh, hey Mum, you said I could perform, right? Um, I might be able to fit you in at the end. But we're still looking for a venue. What about Cuba Street? What about Pukiahu? Too hilly. Too hot. Too dry. Too what? Oh. Kia ora, bro. How are you going? Got a venue. Oh, sweet. It's perfect. I'll make a call. I'll get the stage in there and some teaming. Love it. See you soon. Hey, we've got a venue. Hey. Bye, Nelly. Let's go. I better go make some lunch. Me? Oh. What are you gonna do? We better go make some beats. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's go. Kia ora team, and thank you. Ena mana, ena reo, ena iwi, ena matawaka, ena hao e fa o te motu, ena whanau o poneki, tēnā koutou. Ko whārangi na maunga, ko karori me te kawharawhara oku awa. Ko poneki toku taone, ko ahau te korumatua o poneki, ko Andy Foster takuingoa. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. On Waitangi Day, we celebrate coming together as two peoples in a treaty that founded our nation. Today, we're one of the most diverse and multicultural nations on the planet. Wellington City's recently adopted vision is based on three core principles which fit closely with the Te Ao Māori view. Sustainability, creativity and inclusivity. I want to focus briefly on inclusivity. In this fast-changing world, with all its uncertainties, the Te Ao Māori concept of tūranga waiwai is profound and vitally important. A place where each of us can stand, where we can belong and where we can be who we want to be. In this last year, we've made huge strides in the relationship between Council and mana whenua and our other Māori residents. We've invited our two mana whenua iwi, Ngāti Toa Rangatira and Taranaki Whanui, to nominate representatives as voting members of our Council committees. Iwi are now engaged in a new regional leadership group and in Let's Get Wellington Moving. We've agreed to establish a Māori ward for the 2022 elections. Our procurement strategy sets a target for doing more with Māori business. Our 10-year Māori strategy will be agreed in March, and then in April we'll sign a new strategic partnership agreement with Mana Whenua. There is so much to celebrate. We've come a long way in the last 12 months, and I look forward to what we can achieve working together over the coming year. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa.
Kia ora mai tātou ngā mihi kauana rā ki a koutou katoa i runga i tēnei rā tino whakahirahira a rā te rā e haina tia i te tiriti o Waitangi. Kia ora everyone and welcome to this amazing day, our national day, the day that we signed uh, the Treaty of Waitangi back in 1840. Um, so what does the Treaty of Waitangi mean for me? Well, it, it symbolises our partnership as a nation. It symbolises our time uh, as, as a nation growing together and developing as a nation and, and, and pulling together uh, all those amazing things that make us unique, that make us who we are as New Zealanders, that make us who we are um, as people of this beautiful country, whether it's our reo, uh, whether it's kapahaka, whether it's protests, whether it's all, all those things wrapped together that form who we are as people. And today is one of those days that we can celebrate th those things that make us unique, that make us great. And it's a bit dumb that we can't celebrate it together in person, in and amongst the bands on, on Waitangi Park. But I'm sure next year we'll be able to come together and celebrate with all the amazing kai and hangi and fry bread and, and all the kids um, dancing to all the cool music. Um, but today, this is our day. We still, we still have the right and we still need to celebrate this amazing day together. And so with that, kia ora to you all. Have an amazing Waitangi Day wherever you may be this year. Be safe, be cool and let's keep on being a great, amazing country. Kia ora. Imagine there's no heaven It's easy if you try Only sky. Imagine all the people living for today. Ooh. Imagine there's no countries. It isn't hard to do. Nothing to kill or die for No religion to Imagine all the people Sharing all the world You, you may say I'm a dreamer I'm not the only one I hope someday you'll join us And the world will live as one Imagine no possessions I wonder if you can For grief or hunger, a brotherhood of man. Imagine all the people living in life in peace. You, you may say I'm a dreamer. I'm not the only one And I hope someday you'll join us And the world will be as There is freedom within, there is freedom without. Try to catch the deluge in a paper cup. 
There's a battle ahead Many battles are lost But you never see the end of the road While you're traveling with me Hey now, hey now Don't dream it's over Hey now, hey now When the world comes in They come, they come It's a bit war between us And we know that they won't win Now I'm towing my car There's a hole in the roof My possessions are causing me suspicion But there's no proof In the paper today Tales of war and of waste But you turn right over to the TV page And hey now, hey now Don't dream it's over Hey now Head now, when the world comes in, they come, they come. It's a bit of war between us, and we know that they won't win. Steps to the door of your heart. Only shadows ahead, barely clearing the roof. Get to know the feeling of liberation and relief. Here now, head now, don't dream it so. you have 
of land and the starry skies above don't fence me in let me ride through the wide open country that I love don't fence me in let me be by myself in the evening breeze and listen to the murmur of the cottonwood trees Send me off forever, but I ask you, please don't fence me in. Just turn me loose and me straddle my old saddle underneath the western sky. All my cayuse, let me wander over yonder till I see the mountains rise. to the ridge where the west commences and gaze at the moon till I lose my senses and I can't look at hobbles and I can't stand fences so don't fence me in oh no Don't fence me in. No, no. Let me ride through the wide open country that I love. Don't fence me in. Let me be by myself in the evening breeze and listen to the murmur of the cotton trees. Send me up forever, but I ask you. Just turn me loose, let me straddle my old saddle underneath the western sky. On oh my cayuse, let me wander over yonder till I see the mountains rise. 
Ba 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 ba. I wanna ride to the ridge where the west commences and gaze at the moon till I lose my senses and I can't look at hobbles and I can't stand fences. So don't fence me in. Oh no, Papa, don't you fence me in? Da da ba da da ba da da.
In 1901, the government commissioned filmmakers to record the royal tour of the Duke and Duchess of Cornwall and York. The tour was to thank New Zealanders for their contribution to the South African Boer War. This is the earliest cultural encounter between Māori and British royalty recorded on film. These images were captured in Rotorua at the rehearsal for the Pōwhiri. Most iwi attended the hui, which attracted over 5,000 participants. After the formalities, the royal couple were shown the wonders of the Whakarewarewa Geothermal Valley. The Duchess was led by Te Paia, more famously known as Guide Sapphire. Between 1919 and 1923, the government sponsored four expeditions to record images of Māori life. These were taken on the Whanganui River at Kurinichi in 1921. Colonisation, wars and flu epidemics were devastating for iwi, and by the 1920s, Māori were talked of as a dying race. Adults, children, men and women, double Dutch in the power. Established by the religious leader Rua Kenana, the isolated community of Maunga Pohatu in the Uruwera Ranges was visited by filmmakers in the 1920s. Without access roads, they had to carry their heavy camera equipment on horseback on a two-day journey from Whakatane. These images were filmed by pioneer filmmaker Ted Kubre in 1928 and showed the wives of Rua playing to the camera. Ngāti Porau welcomed an official group for the consecration of St Mary's Church at Tikitiki. Imagine the rough and uncomfortable journey on the unformed gravel roads of the time. The Pōwhiri was at Te Rāhui Morai and welcomed the Governor-General Sir Charles Ferguson and his entourage. Cabinet Minister Apirana Ngata is seen here wearing a kahu kiwi around his waist and participates in the hakataparahi kapanapana. Sound on film was the sensation of the 1930s and this clip is one of the first to have recorded Te Reo Māori. In this scene, near the bridge at Whakarewarewa, a karaua dies for kauda in the frigid waters of the Puarenga River before cooking them in the adjacent hot pool. You'll never be on my 
see that light in the distance Feeling the way that I'm into you Those eyes in a million Speaking the language that I know Oh, I'm just a shadow on the inside now Yeah.
This song is called You. <coughs> to prove when these times are through you've seen it all all of the year I really hope you will be loving me too you wouldn't want to leave me flying free everybody tells me I just want to give you
just going to tune up my guitar a little bit. All right. Um, shout outs to Honey Hickey. <laughs>
All right, we got one final song to play. It's called Love and Can't Wait. And it goes a little something like this.
Thank you. <laughs> Ki ngā maue o ngā mau ngā huri noa i te whanganui a tarei pō neke nei a te nā koutou i tēnei te rā o Waitangi. Waitangi Day is a great time for us to stop and have a look and see where we are and where we want to be into the future. We've made some great quantum leaps here in Wellington in the past. We've got things like our tamariki learning about our history inside our schools. We've got Matariki Puanga, a national public holiday this year. And we've done things like include our mana whenua partners on our council committees here in Wellington City. This knowledge and understanding that we collectively have here in Wellington will help us inform and elevate discussions around the Treaty of Waitangi and its future for us here in the capital city of Aotearoa, New Zealand. Today, as we celebrate the good fortune of being citizens in Aotearoa's capital city, Wellington, Te Upoko Tika, the fish of Maui, I encourage you all as Wellingtonians to explore some of the sites of significance, to immerse yourself in some of our collective history, and to reflect on our collective responsibility to uphold the Tiriti o Waitangi. Wellington was home to the treaty slightly later in the year in April, and I implore you to go and find out where it might have been in your neighbourhood before checking it out at the archives in Pipitia. As we reflect on the past 182 years since the signing of Te Tiriti o Waitangi, we can be proud of the things we've accomplished with our mana whenua partners, with our iwi with Māori here in Pōneki, Te Whanganui Atara. And we can be excited about the future opportunities that lie between us and the bicentenary in 2040, when Wellington will be the first and only Te Reo Māori bilingual capital city in the world. Waitangi and Wellington's a time to reflect, celebrate, and plan out the future with our mana whenua partners Ngāti Toa and Taranaki Whānui. In 1911, Sir Māori Pōmare from Taranaki Whānui entered into Parliament. Maui Pōmare dedicated his career and his life to equipping his people with the ability to adapt in this ever-changing, uncertain environment and world that we live in. He was able to do so because he was confident in his own language and his own identity, equally as confident inside the marae as he was in Parliament. Maui Pōmare pointed out the way in which we should live today, equally adept in both sides of the Treaty of Waitangi, in true partnership with each other. Kwa takoto rā te manuka e te wi, hiki nga rā, e ke rā i te waka, e nga koe rā te koranga o te ngākau, kia ka kia rā i ngā tāpu i pu i tanga o te waka aro nui, mo apopo mo a tatau tamariki. E te wi kia pai te rā o Waitangi. Te pū. Te 
te amo. Tēnā rā tātou, e mihi a tuana ki a koutou, e mā takitaki mai ana, a me mihi ki te haukāinga ki ngā iwi o tēnei rohe, a ka huri ki a tātou te hunga ora, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā rā tātou katoa. Kia ora. My name is Magic and this is Te Whaia. We are so pleased to be here. Um, remembering the histories of Aotearoa, Waitangi Day. That first song that we sung is called Te Pū and it's about the uh, beginning of the world. Um, and now we are going to do a song called Mana Wahine and it's a tribute to all our strong wahine Māori out there and indigenous women all across the world. Mana wahine ka heke tika tonu mai ki aho This one's called Prison in Aotearoa. Prisoner in Aotearoa 
This next one is a little bit of a lighter subject. Um, it's a song that uh, we wrote for our children. And it's a little message that I wanted to leave behind for them. Believe, then you 
next song is called Higher. Um, it's a song that I wrote a few years ago now. It's just about believing in something bigger than you. doesn't matter what it is, who it is, and believing that that thing is always going to be there for you. Um, and it's not a love song. People think it's a love song, but it's actually me as a friend telling all my other friends or people who I love out there that I'm going to be there for them. So, yeah. this to the side I feel like it's a distraction this next song is called Waterfall it's another original this song is just really about hard times that you have in your life um, it's a personal one to me um, and it's about finding hope to get out of those times because some of us don't see that hope don't see the light at the end of the tunnel um, and that's there, all, there, all there is to it. So I really encourage um, people who feel like they need um, comfort to reach out because I feel like there's always someone there for you and then there's always um, a reason to keep going on.
Cause my mind's getting in the way in my bad day And I feel like I'm going down Like a waterfall falling So pick me up now And take me on the road with you Pick me up now And take me anywhere that you're going Pick me up now And take me on the road with you Pick me up now And take me anywhere that you're going to be yourself sometimes and that's the reason why I like this song because it encourages you to just be who you are and love who you are
Don't be unhappy, can remember when I last saw you laughing. This world makes you crazy, and it's taking all you can bear. So call me up because you know that I'll be there. Let me see your true. See your true colors, and that's why I love you. So don't be afraid to let them show you your true colors, true colors, a beautiful. Let me see your true. See your true colors, and that's why I love you. So don't be afraid to let them show you your true colors, true colors, beautiful like a song uh we've recently had a friend a very dear friend um who's passed away and i'd like to dedicate the song to him Hutter thomas um he's such a big big huge loss um and he was one of the people who played a a big huge part in my in my career and in my life as well so i'd like to send all my love to him and his Fano. The song is called Wide World. Thank you so much for having us. Um, yeah, have a great year. Time slips by and so do people to memory start to fade but I remember you you know you had my heart you touched my soul oh, my body made me weary but my spirit never grows old may a white world please hear me now then I forgot all my may a white world So we can be as 
1975 Land March, led by Dame Fina Cooper, marked a turning point in the Māori political landscape, and the cry of not one more acre required a rethink of our history. The Waitangi Tribunal was established the same year as a permanent commission of inquiry to investigate breaches of the treaty. Many of our lands have been taken under the Public Works Act, and so Ngāti Whātua, um, I feel, will come alive because of the impact of the, of the, the march. The land march gathered support as it travelled. The numbers were large enough that the Auckland Harbour Bridge was open for foot traffic for the first time since opening day. Every day flows down my eyes. You can see now that I'm really uh, worn out because when I look at them marching and I see them limping, even to talk to you, it brings tears into my eyes because thinking of the great sacrifice our people, uh, especially the group, that are doing for the benefit of our people. Note the beehive under construction in the background. They came in army trucks from the Air Force and Navy barracks they'd occupied overnight. A massive series of convoys that looked more like a scene from a World War II movie than a police action against Maori protesters. Minutes of their arrival, they had the perimeter of the land almost completely surrounded. On May 25th, 1978, Ngāti Whātua and supporters were forcibly evicted from ancestral land at Takaparafo, Bastion Point, when some 600 police and armed forces personnel arrived to remove less than 200 land protectors. This place is Crown land. I have the lawful authority and duty to prevent unlawful trespassing or intrusion upon or occupation of this place. Go peacefully, brother. Go Ten years later, and the Waitangi Tribunal supported the Ngāti Whātua ki Orake claim. And on the 1st of July, 1988, the government agreed with the recommendation to return the land. The 2004 foreshore and seabed hikoi was another protest. This time, Māori were seeking undisturbed access to resources guaranteed by the treaty. Like the 1975 land march, support swelled and the Auckland Harbour Bridge was once again opened to foot traffic. I heard you, heard you cry. 
night I heard you say you want to die because there's looting and there's shooting in the ghetto well you see in the ghetto
is all around Starving children laying on the ground It's no wonder for as long as they say Plan nuclear power in the world today Nuclear waste is coming down
Walking out on my own to Puna. Oh, I walk it there. I got to go to a garamata. He or a motel catwa. Yamukaka Pupulita. Mana on a to Puna. Because you're magic, young people.
police coming up from under the stand, and these policemen are equipped in their riot helmets. The glass visors on the helmet, they don't have their shields with them, and I can see that they've got their long batons slung at their hip. They're moving in towards the demonstrators in the line. They're not approaching them as if they're going to try and move them. They're forming up in front of the main stand. What you did just then, you did for the last time. You do that when there's anything happening and you'll get stomped on or locked up. You realise that? All persons are warned to stay clear of police lines and 50 yards in advance of the police line.
きたいけど歩きやつ」
Turn the lights on. There you are, son. Now's your moment to shine. Kind of, kind of starting to feel it now. <laughs>